Hey guys, I'm the Maha Mechanic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your cruise control buttons on a 98 to 2002 Ford Ranger. Now mine will not light on this side. The lights have gone out on this side. They're still functional, but these this side is the only one that lights. As I can show you here, let me turn off the light. You can see those lights are on. Those lights are not. So, let's get into it. Here are all the tools that you will need for this install. Before we start, you're going to want to disconnect your battery because we're going to be working with the airbag. Also, you want to make sure you move it off to the side in a place in which it's not going to come back up and connect with the battery again. All right, now we got that disconnected, we can go in the cab and start removing the airbag. Now, the first step to removing the airbag is to remove these bolt covers here. So get your screwdriver. Right under there and pop it right up. That will gain you access to the bolt right here. There is another one on, on the other side. I'm not going to show you me taking it off, but I'm going to. Next, you want to grab your 8mm socket and remove the bolts on each side. Do the same thing on the other side. Now that you have both bolts removed from each side, the airbag should come right out. You can see an electrical connector here. This is why we disconnected the power from the car. So we can disconnect the airbag. And there's your airbag. Put that aside. And now you can remove these four bolts here. Remember that there's a ground connection here. And a ground connector here that will connect to this bolt right here. Now you want to remove these four bolts right here and then the button should come right off. Now the buttons are free. Come over here and unplug the buttons from the actual steering wheel. There's a little tab on the top. You push and it should come right up. Now let's remove these two connectors right here. There's one. <laughs> These are on there harder than you think. And there you go. Now let's remove these two Torx bolts with a T30 Torx. And there's two. Make sure you do not lose any of these components. Put them right back, put them in a safe spot. Now, you want to remember where this wire is fished through. So it looks like it goes from this one up under here, around the top. There's a little clip right there. Comes all the way back down here. Plugs into this one. The plug from that one goes in here, above this one, through that one, and all the way back to here. Make sure you remember this so there's no loose wires and nothing's going to get pinched or caught. So, let's work on removing our wires. And there you have it. Now, you're going to do it in the exact same order that you did the other one, just reversed. So, not in the exact same order, I guess. I'm going to take this, feed it through between the plastic piece and the steering wheel itself. There you go. There's one fed through there. Get it to the position that you want it. You're going to feed the other th other side through. So, where this wire needs to go, it needs to go up. You see that little clip right there? It needs to go above that clip. It needs to come down here, go to the button. From the button, it goes in in here, comes up, goes in that one, and then it goes back into the plug right there. So let's get it done. I just fed it through this little crack right here, around the corner, and there you go, we got it around that, that metal right here. Now we can put this wire into place up here, 
Oh. Make sure it goes above all the clips. There. And that's how it should be. Just like that. Now, you can get this into place here. And start fishing our wires through these clips right here. Here and here. I just got the first wire fed through the top right here. And then now, give it some more slack. Make sure you can fit your button in the right area though. Now, we're gonna go through this bottom clip and then right to our connector right here. Now that you got it thread through the bottom one right here, make sure you have enough slack so you're not you're not pinching any wires, and make sure you have enough wire to actually get to this connector. Push until you hear the click. There you go. Jiggle it around, and make sure it's in there. And there you have it. It's all wired up. Now we can put everything back together and see if they work. All right now. Take your ground wire, put it here, and let's just secure these in place. Make sure not to pinch the ground wire. Snug them up. Don't make it too, high, too tight, because you might break this plastic. Let's do the bottom bolt. Nice and snug. Just make sure it's not going to move around, which it's not. Now we can get this other side in. Make sure that's not going to go anywhere. And now we can retighten our Torx bits. So put them over the holes. Make sure you're not going to pinch any wires while you're doing this. And tighten down your Torx. There you go, there's one. Here's two. Now we can replug in our wires here. There's one. And there's two. Now let's plug in our airbag again. Just like this. sure all the wires are out of the way so we can put this back in. Make sure the holes line up on each side. We can reinstall the bolts that we initially took out. Now let's go hook up the battery again and see how it works. Now let's replug in the battery. Make sure it's on there good. Let's tighten, let's tighten down this bolt. Make sure it's nice and snug and it's not going to go anywhere. That's perfect. Now let's go see if our buttons work. All right, let's turn them on see if they glow. There's that side. There's that side. They are working perfectly. I can definitely tell this one's a little more faint than this one, but you know, turn it down. And you really, you really can't tell in person if you turn the lights down a little bit. But sweet, it's another install done. Well accomplished. If you found this video informative, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, no matter your experience or your skill level, keep on improving.